All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to build your own custom tow straps. Um, the only thing you're gonna be needing on your car is a tow hook, which is already there. But you can also get those um, screw um, with a loop and you can drill that in and build the tow hook on there. And this is fairly easy to do. You can build them in any sizes, any thicknesses, uh, any shapes, any colors, any patterns. Uh, it's pretty easy and they're really strong and they are built to last and yeah let's get started to it these toe straps will be made out of paracord there are a lot of techniques that you can use paracord for and you can build them in any sizes any thicknesses you can use different types of paracord you can make different colors different patterns and you know the main thing is that they are really really cheap so you can pick up a pack for like five bucks and you're set and you can build a whole bunch of toe hooks with this shit it's insane. So the tools you're gonna be needing is some paracord, a lighter, and a knife. And that's to cut the wire and you know, the, not, the lighter is for doing the ends because they tend to come loose and you know, you don't want that so yeah. So first you're gonna be cutting the wire ends so it, as you can see it's not good. You wanna have nice clean and when you got a cut, you take your lighter and you want to burn it so it doesn't come loose and it kind of melts together. It's kind of hard with the wind. And this is really nice. This is what you want to get and you want to blow on it or leave it drying, whatever. So, and now I'm going to do the other end. You notice I have a ton of paracord out here. So I don't want to run out of par paracord whenever you know I'm halfway and then I gotta start over again so I'm gonna be using too much paracord and you know I can cut up, cut away the existing paracord that I don't need so I'm gonna be burning this so the way you're gonna start is after you cut your uh, the length of your paracord you want and you're gonna split in the middle and this is the ending point when I split it in the middle. I'm gonna put that through. I have a loop. I'm gonna put this through. I'm gonna take all of the paracord. So after you're done the loop over here, you wanna follow the cable all the way to the end and you wanna make both ends come out the same length, not like this or like this or even more. Just wanna have them nice and even and after you're done that, we're gonna go to the next step. So after your both ends are nice and even, what you wanna do is, you wanna measure how much you wanna have sticking out of how long you wanna have your toe strap. You can make them as long as you want. Um, it's not really gonna do too much on strength. Um, it's because it's fairly strong and one of these cables each can hold up to 500 pounds. And since we're gonna run it through the hook over here, like four times, that's 200 pounds, 2000 pounds which is actually a lot and I don't think your car will be more but you know you can run it even through more and you can make different types of stow straps this is the Cobra type so yeah whatever um, so to measure how long you want to have your toe strap dragging over the ground or just having in the middle you take a finger over here and then you're gonna run your cable through again so no it's a bit shorter right now but can still do that later and so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take the left uh, paracord and then you're gonna take the right paracord the left one is over these two and then you take the right paracord, go under, and you want to end here. You want to pull the wire through here, all the way. And I'm standing on the wire, that's not good. Um, because the wire is so long, um, it might be pretty hard to do so, but that's basically what you want to do. And then you want to tighten it. Um, make sure to check the length of your paracord. 
again because it could change after you did this um, so if you have someone to hold paracord it would be pretty easy but I don't have that and now I'm gonna be taking the right side around it on the front and I'm gonna take the left paracord and run that through all the way and you want to tighten this and now you want to start with the left side over the middle again and then run the right side under and make a cross over here and pull that through and you want to keep that doing that um, switching from left to right uh, the whole time and you want to have it real tight each time so you want to have pull it real hard so I'm gonna run through this all around and you just want to keep repeating this until you're done to the uh, back side of it and I'm gonna show you a trick to keep it real good and strong out there so in case you got something to drink or you kind of quit for a minute um, to know which side you gotta start with each time again is watch where you have a little stripe downwards um, I don't have one here the last one is on this side so you gotta start on this side and again just take um, the right side put it over the two cables in the middle and take the left one run it over that one and make it come out over here and run the cable through all the way and make it real tight so the way I'm tightening it is actually I'm using my feet because it really starts to wear on your hands and really starts to hurt your hands uh, after you're done with this fully with your hands um, you will really feel your hands will be hurting for like three days or so so use your feet to do this All right, what, when we are at the end, uh, what you want to do is you can see how open this side is. We're going to connect this side to this so it will be really good together. And how you want to do that is, you can see I ended up here, so I want to take this one up here and run this one over. So I'm going to take the end of this cable, which is this one, I'm going to run it over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it behind right here. This is where, where my finger is poking through. This is where I want to push that through. And then, I just want to let it go all the way like that and now I got this unfully knot here and I want to take the the back side over here and I want to run this through again like that and when you got that you want to take the end of the cable again and you want to run it through this hole and now these two are kind of connected together and it will be a bit stronger and now you want to make one more knot starting from here just now I'm gonna tighten it a bit first so you can see I still have play on it I can still make it move around and all so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start with another loop just like that and this is gonna be really strong as you guys can see over here I'm gonna take the camera off and as you can see how strong this actually is um, this will hold up to 2,000 pounds almost uh, about 2,000 pounds it depends on how thick your cable is and you get to check the packaging um, 
it usually says how many pounds one cable can hold and you can multiply it apply it by four um, you can also you know use six if you bend it even more and run it through a, bit, a lot more so yeah that's kind of it and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna be tightening the fuck out of this one right now I'm gonna put the camera inside a bit you want to tighten this one the most So when it's tightened all the way down, uh, what you want to do is cut these cables off right here and right here. So I'm going to take my knife. So you want to cut them off about right here. And you take your lighter and you make sure it doesn't rattle off uh, because otherwise it will come all loose and you can use it like that and meld it together. So now this is really strong, you can literally hang on it. Uh, make sure you still, you don't tighten this too much when you begin with the knot. Um, because otherwise it will be, you know, when it's facing down and the tow truck pulls it, you know, the cable will actually um, start to wear out and make sure you can still do this. So that's it and yeah. Here you guys see the ending result, looks pretty good and you know, it's pretty, easy to make takes a long time but you know your hands will also hurt um, that's what I recommend is um, wear gloves pretty thick gloves not only does it look good but it's actually functional and I just love them um, After you know how to make these toe straps, you can also build them for in the front or in the rear, it doesn't really matter where you put them. So yeah, that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it and if this video helped you out a lot, leave a like and I'm gonna be posting more videos like this. Um, also, I'm gonna be making these kind of toe straps as handles after I got the uh, credit card, credit card uh, door panels because I'm gonna take out my door panels and and then I'm gonna be building um, these toe straps as handles so you can pull the cable to close the door and it's gonna be pretty mint. And you know you can subscribe, consider subscribing if you haven't yet uh, you will be updated with new videos then and I'll see you guys next time